Hello YouTube, welcome to the unboxing video on the Banana Pie M3. Much like the original Banana Pie, Banana Pie M3 looks almost the same, but the processor, which it uses an A83T all winner SOC octa core processor, along with 2GB of RAM and 8GB of eMMC. So, here from the left to right, you can see the power micro USB SATA port. Note that the SATA port is not an SATA to USB converter. Here's the Ethernet port, the USB ports, and there you have it. And on the back, this is the micro SD card slot, which is different from the SD card slot on the Banana Pi M1. So here's the overview of the board. And of course, there's the HDMI cable, and it's charged by micro USB port. The charger is similar to your phone charger, but make sure if you are using other adapters, it's rated for 2 amps. And you will need a good quality micro USB cable to charge it at 2 amps. So now let's test some systems. This is Android 5.0 Lollipop installed on the Banana Pi M3. Something really exciting is that it's so fast. It's so much faster than the Banana Pi M1 and R1. So here I loaded up YouTube in a matter of seconds. The video loads up quickly and it streams in pretty good quality. Note that this display is 1080p and multitasking is really smooth. So here I'm really impressed by the Banana Pi M3 in Android performance aspects. But one thing that it lacks is the Google Play Store. Without the Google Play Store, you can't really do much on it. I tried installing the Google Play myself, but I haven't had much success, so I'm just hoping they'll add the Google Play Store sometime sooner to take full advantage of the Android ecosystem. And as I said before, the Android is smooth because it's powered by an octa-core processor with 2GB of RAM, and here's the Lollipop system minigame, easter egg. I can never get past level the first level. Well, let's look at the Ubuntu Mate. Unlike the Android system which runs really smooth, Ubuntu Mate is meh. I mean, regular browsing is okay, as you will see here. The browser loaded up slower than the Android browser, but it still works. Let me Google search some pictures. Cats. The browsing experience is decent as one you would expect from a low-end laptop. And the images load up pretty quickly, but one thing that it's terrible on is video playback. Here on YouTube, the videos cannot even be played at all because it lacks the video codec. Banana said they are going to update the system image so it can support videos on Linux. So right now I'm just going to open up some LibreOffice. And everything works really smooth, as expected from the M3. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.